saying you ready, but your head in the phone still, so you know. I got you. Making last second deal? Yes. Well, I'll go ahead and start it, and then whenever you get ready. Yes, sir! Oh. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another, uh, this is another vlog video, man. We actually just got out of church, man, and we probably gonna title this video Bridget tries to catch the Holy Ghost fail, or Bridget catches the Holy Ghost fail, or something. Uh, but anyway, man, look, go go ahead and break it down, Bridget. Go ahead and tell them what happened. Okay, so we're in church, and the pastor preached a good sermon, and he was like, "I want everyone to close their eyes, and I want you to think about something that God has done for you that you could not do for yourself." Now, if you don't believe in God, that's cool. You know, people on here, but you know, we we are we believers, but it still can be funny to you, so it's all good. Regardless of regardless of your faith, this is this can still be funny to you. So I'm sitting there and like you know, anytime it's time to just kind of just close your eyes and you think about all the things that you're going through, and for us and our belief, and you know that okay, I couldn't have done this without God. It gets to me. It gets to. It, it gets, gets to right me. next to or right now. You know, the supreme being, whatever you believe in. You okay. Know, that's 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 how she is. So and then so um most. Baptist churches, you know, people catch the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit is like something that just comes over you. You can't even prevent it. Or what it just happens. Uh -huh. Now, since I've been into church, I've caught the Holy Spirit three times. Yeah, three you have some times. people that get it every week. I'm not one of them. Yeah. I, I, I'm not one of them. I, I am not one of them. Every week. Day. Anyway, look something so, like this. So anyway, <laughs> so I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, and like I get this like calming spirit over me. I mean, look, man, I'm gonna just, I'm I can tell that, I can tell the story better than you can, dog. Look, man, she's she's sitting there. Now I can always tell when it's gonna happen, but. Today, we did not have sufficient room for this to take place. <laughs> I'm just going to put it to you like that. And you, if you are, if you're a man and you in the church, like you have to be in the Baptist faith to understand what we're talking about. Or you got to be, you got to be a Christian to know what we're talking about or what have you, because not everybody knows what we're talking about, but maybe in different religions, they have different versions of it or what have you. But, but I, I, I don't know. So I'm, we just going by what we know, right? And uh, you know, some people, somebody probably gonna say something dumb in the comments, like it's crazy to believe in God anyway. Hey, you believe what you want to believe. I believe what I want to believe, and we can all coexist happily, cause ain't nobody ask you anyway. But anyway, you believe in what works for you, right? Do it, do it work for you, baby. If it working, if you believe or you don't believe, and it's working for you, by all means, do what you does. But it appears this this appears to work for us. So hey, this is what we do. But anyway, like I was saying, like I was saying. Like uh, Bridget, so what she did was, uh, well, this is what she always does. Before it happens, before it happens, you know, she start bowing her head and rocking, rocking her head, you know, forward and back. Then she squeeze her, she tighten up on my hand, and then she gets real, real quiet. And then you can almost, like, if you look at her, you can almost see her thoughts. So, so squeezing your hand, that foot start trembling and patting and whatever. And I'm just like, yeah. Um, I already know what's about to happen. I can tell that she's falling into this trance. It ain't happening this morning because it just ain't enough room. Now, normally, what what I do when this does happen is I grab her, you know, and, and try to try to hold on to a hold her down or what have you, so she ain't. I flailing. don't like being held. Like, let me have my moment. I mean, you, you look like I said, man. It's, it's so many different different. If you if you YouTube a couple of them, you'll see what people do, you know, when it happens or what have you. And some people think it's fake. Some people think it's real. I've never experienced it. It's but, real. But Bridget says it's real because she has experienced it. But it's just like, like I just said, man, you know, I ain't having enough room this morning for that. We were already on in my home church, so it was a real tight row. It's not like, because sometimes we go to the mega church, one of the mega churches in Atlanta. You got plenty of room. You can, you can flail out and just fall out. And just do stuff like that right now you can do that but but this church in my tiny home church 
it just wasn't room for it, dog. Like, even at her church, they have pews. In my church, they have chairs. So you got your little section of booty to put in your chair. Like, in, in, in the, if you have a church with pews, the booty space is ambiguous, right? So you can slide left or right. No. In this church, we got chairs, and you got this section of booty, which is yours. You can't be flailing around, and, and I think that your arms should fit inside your own section of booty. I don't think I ever seen anyone catch a spear at your church. Um, oh, they have, but they normally over to the sides, normally the older women. They get them out of there real quick. I, 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 didn't, I didn't want the secret service to come over there and escort you out because that's what they do at, at, at our church. They get you up out of there. Yeah, they get you out of there real quick. They don't, they don't, they, I mean, it's not, they, they, they take you outside. I'm not going to say the secret service escorts you out. We're just going to say they take you outside and allow you to have your moment. And then when you've come back to earth, then they, they escort you back in silently and gracefully to your seat. So I didn't want to see the secret service come back in. You have to go into, um, going to the, uh, the the witness protection program anyway. and then we not see you again. So I just had to block on that immediately. I just told her. I was into my third thought too when you, I was like just going through everything that God has done for us. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, all of a sudden I hear a voice and it wasn't God. And I was like, what the hell? And I was like, what the hell? And then I heard a voice and it wasn't God's voice <laughs> saying, what did you say? I, I told you that your breath was bad or something no. like that. I said them H words though. And then she was like, <gasps> And like they're just bright, cause you know if you look, if you want to ruin somebody's thought process or anything, tell them two, one or two things: their breath is bad, or they got a booger in their nose. I guarantee that the thought process is done at that point. It's like a booger. Oh yeah. yeah. Got a. What? Right here? Underneath, right here. So I was like, yeah, them, you gotta watch them H words, dog. And she was just like, she was like, she had a mouth closed. She was like, <gasps> and I was just dying laughing because it was just so hilarious. And but what, it was, did you, what else did you? Well, I forgot what I said. He said, he said, not today. Go and get up and get up all the middle stuff today. <laughs> yeah, not today, play like, boy. Really? And then she, she tried to go right back to it. No, no, player, it ain't happening today. I am telling you, it ain't happening today. I don't want to see you get escorted out by the secret service, the church, the secret church service. I don't and think I, that would have happened. No, they would have got you out of there so fast. They would have got you out of there faster than uh, who that dude to keep uh, keep smoking weed for um, for the Browns, Josh Gordon. Yeah, they would have got you out of there faster than they got Josh Gordon out of there. I'm not even playing with you. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. That was a great service, though. Great service. Like I said, if you don't believe, that's cool. But it was just we just thought that was a funny story. You thought everybody. that was a funny story. I thought it was hilarious, and I know that there are going to be other men or other people in the thing that, that people... Tell us about your Holy Ghost experience. If you, if you don't believe in the Christian faith, like, do you guys have an equivalent of the Holy Ghost or what have you? Because like I say, I know there's all different types of faiths that, that watch us and all that good stuff, so, you know, it just is what it is, man. And I ain't stepping... I don't want to step on anybody's toes, but, you know, most people believe, like, most of us believe that there's a creator... And um, he's looking out for the greater good of everybody. And I think I, mean, I think that's what most religions believe in anyway. Um, religion is just the way that you go about worshiping them, I suppose. But, hey, it is what it is, man. So uh, we up out of here, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, we just gonna, uh, we're just going to go from there. But we up out of here. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Chef. And, and your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon, BK the People's Chef. Hello! Hello.